Good evening, everybody. It is uh, Saturday, June 19th, 2021, at uh, 11.39 p.m. here in beautiful South San Francisco, California. Um, I said I was going to do a Bible reading tonight in place or in lieu of uh, evening prayer, and that's what I'm here to do. That's what we're going to do right now. Um, let me see what it is say anything else. Tomorrow's going to be Father's Day, um, and I, I didn't want to, I was kind of running late, and I didn't want to go uh, too late tonight, because I, I do want to be up early, somewhat early, I don't know, you know, I don't know what's going to happen as far as what time I'm going to get up, uh, but if, you know, if I get to bed early enough, it's going to take time off, you know, whatever time I get up, it's, it's going to uh, take time off uh, so I'll be getting up earlier, the earlier I get to bed. That's what I'm trying to say in so many words. Um, <clears throat> so before we begin, uh, I want to say an Our Father and a Hail Mary. And, uh, and then ask the Lord to, uh, to be present during our reading of Scripture tonight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Whoops. Excuse me. A few things I forgot to do. Number one. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Dear Lord, we ask that you be present. You're always present, but we ask that you be present in this reading of Scripture tonight. Inspire us with your word. As you have chosen the passage, the Lord uh, chose uh, 1 Samuel chapter 3. That's what we're going to read. From, begin reading there. I don't know where we're going to end. I have no idea. So the Lord will decide that. Um, and for that reading, for, the, for that passage. that you give us the grace, the grace we need to understand your message for us in this reading. In your name we pray, dear Lord. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out. And Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. The ark of the covenant. Then the Lord called Samuel, Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call. Lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he got up and went to Eli, and he said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli 
I perceived that the Lord was calling this boy, the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, See, I am about to do something in Israel that will make both ears of anyone make both ears of anyone who hears it of it tingle on that day i will fulfill against eli all that had been spoken concerning his house from beginning to end for i have told him that i am about to punish his house forever for the for the iniquity that he knew because his sons were blaspheming god eli had two two evil sons eli was Trying to find my place here. Hold on, sorry. And he did not restrain them. He, so he did. He did nothing. He left them kind of do their thing unchecked. Therefore, I swear to the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be expiated by sacrifice or offering forever. Samuel lay there until morning. Then he opened the doors of the house of the Lord. Samuel was afraid to tell the vision to Eli, right? I would be too. But Eli called Samuel. This is one of my favorite, I know it's coming, I totally forgot. It's one of my favorite lines from Eli in this. Ready? I'll tell you when, it, when we get to it. But Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son. He said, here I am. Eli said, what was it that he told you? Do not hide it from me. May God do so to you and more also if you hide anything from me of all that he told you. <clears throat> so Samuel told him everything and did not hide and hid nothing from him. <clears throat> then he said, it is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. That's my favorite line. Or put it another way, as I say it often, let the, let, let the Lord do what seems good to him. As Samuel grew up, the Lord was with him and let none of his words fall to the, to the ground. And all Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, knew that Samuel was a trustworthy prophet of the Lord. The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel at Shiloh by the word of the Lord. And the word of Samuel came to all Israel. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. You know, it's interesting because God does do that. I mean, here it is, you know, God could have just made, you know, he made, he made Samuel get up and go to Eli. And he made Eli say to Samuel, go back to your bed and tell him, you know, when he says it again, tell him I'm here and I'm listening. The Lord animates everyone's soul. Everybody. Everybody. And this can be really hard to imagine because, you know, there's some folks out there that are not. Eli's sons, you know, who made them do the bad things? The Lord did. Now, you know, That idea is very tough to grapple with, I understand. You know, when it's good, yeah. You know, when things are good, you think, oh, God, the Lord, you know. I mean, I, I you know, I'm not possessed to go out and kill people. So, I, see, you know what I mean? I don't do anything like that. So it's easy for me to say, oh, the Lord animates my soul, and that's great, and stuff like that. But it's harder to kind of look at the people that are possessed. And there are people. I watched something last, uh, last year in 2020 where one guy was talking about, he killed, he killed this woman. He just basically showed up at her door. He was a delivery driver there, delivered a package. He went back to her house later, a week later, and uh, killed her. Just knocked on the door, pretended to be another, the same delivery, because he was at work. 
actually. He just drove, he wasn't even in that neighborhood. He drove, it was close by, but he drove to the neighborhood and he talked about why he did it when he finally, and he said he didn't understand. It was like if a foreign, like something had, an intelligence had taken over his body and he was kind of having an out of body experience. And, uh, and it chilled me to the bone because I've done many things like that that I know was the Lord doing it. And the Lord told me, you know, that, that you know, made it clear that, made it clear that the Lord is behind everything. Um, you have to remember this though, you know, this is what we typically do. The Lord is everything, okay? The good and the bad, the yin and the yang, the creator of everything. But in our minds, it's hard to kind of grapple with that. So what we do is we have the Lord, who's for the good stuff, and the devil, who's for the bad stuff. But it's the same, it's, you know what I mean? The Lord himself told me that, uh, you know, the devil is also him. And he said, I, I remember he said to me, he said, think of it as my bad side. Think of it as my bad side. Now, you know, this isn't really, what I'm saying here is not totally unorthodox teaching. This has been known for a while, but we can't always think of it in those terms because it's too troubling for us to kind of get. You know what I mean? And when you think of something like, like if, if, if I had a, a husband or a wife and somebody, you know, came to, and killed them, you know, me as a, as a religious man, you know, I'd have a, you know, well, I mean, I wouldn't have a hard time. It depends. I might actually, I, right now the thought is like, I could, okay, I could accept that the Lord did that. I may be painful, but like, but there are some things that are, too, you know, <coughs> for us at different times that are too hard for us to accept if the Lord is involved in that. But, uh, you know what I mean? But someday we'll, we'll come to know, we'll come to understand, you know what I mean? It'll all make sense. And the Lord doesn't always want us to think of it like that way, because if he did, we would be thinking of it that way. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes I have the Lord trying to convince me of something, you know, and it feels like he's trying to convince me, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. But it's not that, you know what, he, he doesn't want me to be convinced. He just wants me to feel that I'm being convinced. You know what I mean? It's If he wanted me to be convinced, I would be convinced. It's that simple. You know what I mean? Because the Lord does, you know, it, it, it's really, the mysteries are something else. They really are. Anyway, I don't want to go too far. That's no, not off track, but I don't want to go too far in that direction right now. But see, one interesting thing is this. The Lord could have, and this is very, very true. The Lord makes me, you know, I always found it very, very weird when, when the Lord would say that, like, you know, or kind of comical, when the Lord would be like, okay, go to this place and do this, and then I will tell you what you need to know. And it's some, I'm like, what? It's not even like a real neat, you know what I mean? Like, 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 like Moses has to go up the mountain and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it's like, there's these things like, you know, that are just, and the Lord does. Sometimes the Lord, like for example, earlier tonight, Earlier tonight, <clears throat> I was in the bathroom, and we're talking, me and the Lord, and he's like, okay, we'll go out, now go out, and now he says this evening, how you just made me go out and, and start the green beans, or start to, start to cook dinner, or whatever, but he's like, okay, now go out and, and do that, you know, now, so I go out there. And immediately I realized I need my iPhone. He makes me realize that. And he's like, well, now, yeah, go back and get your iPhone now. And I was like, and he was like, I was like, same thing. It's the same voice. <coughs> I just laugh. I'm like, you know, well, you could have told me that. That way I didn't have to go back to the bathroom to grab the iPhone and take the picture. You knew I was going to need it anyway. You know, but he does it all the time. Now, now to someone that's not religious, that sounds like, oh, you just forgot your iPhone. All I can tell you is my experience of God is that I know differently. Um, well, then what is forgetting, right? How do we know if it's the difference between I forgot it and like, well, there really is no difference. 
because it's all God. That's the point. That's the point. Now, I may say, I, I mean, I say I forgot something all the time. You know what I mean? It, it just, it doesn't mean that we, we, there's no use for those words. Somehow, you know, in the, in the world there is. It, it's real. I'm not going to attempt to understand this entirely because I don't. I, I'm just telling you my experience of, of God. <coughs> well, anyway. That's all, almost all. I want to grab the prayer list. And I want to mention the names of the people that I pray for. Hold on, I'll be right back. Keep this simple. I'm just gonna go right in a row because it's getting late. <laughs> so we pray. I pray. We pray for our uh, President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, Gavin Newsom, London Breed, Rich Garbarino, our Mayor of South San Francisco. A uh, London Breed is the Mayor of San Francisco. Carlos Bolanos, our San Mateo County Sheriff, San Mateo County Sheriff's Department, and all law enforcement agencies in the county. Uh, especially the South San Francisco and San Bruno Police Departments, and also outside the county, the San Francisco Police Department. We also <clears throat> pray for all the emergency personnel in those, in those counties and cities. <clears throat> Diane Feinstein, Alex Padilla, the San Mateo County Department of Housing, the South San Francisco City Council, and our District Attorney, Stephen Wagstaff, also pray for uh, the organizations, secular organizations, Life Moves and Abode Services. They help homeless people get housing. I wouldn't be sitting here if it was not for them. Thank you very much. Um, clergy suffering with addiction and chemical dependency. We also pray for them. Also pray for our uh, Holy Father, Pope Francis, Pope Benedict, Bishop Mark Handley Andrus, Archbishop Salvatore Cordeleone. St. Gregory's Abbey, Three Rivers, Michigan, Hospitality House in San Bruno, C. Episcopal Church in South San Francisco and San Bruno, the Diocese of California, Archdiocese of San Francisco, Rev. Patrick Driscoll, Rev. Shariah Badoda, St. Veronica's Catholic Church, South San Francisco, the Rev. Deborah Hawkins, Father Lisa of C. Episcopal, Bishop Louis Jelano, St. Bruno, Bruno's Catholic Church in San Bruno, Members of my family, my father, Alex, happy Father's Day, a little bit early, Dad. I love you. We'll talk more about this tomorrow, of course. My mother, Cheryl, Kara Masick, Erwin Rossmeyer, my brothers, Joshua, Jesse, Ben, and Max, my uncle, Mark, and his ex-wife, Diane, and uh, Jay and Jesse Darling, Baba Taviano and Theta and Anna Crumby. Also pray for members of my extended family. Junior Irwin, Bernadette, Stephen, Brian, and Carrie Connolly, Stuart Packman, Eric Mosnes, Keegan Forbes, Michael Nold, Coulter Myers and his girlfriend, Richard Simmons, Jim White, Andrew Marmelstein, Dave Maloney, Keith Watley, Jimmy Harder, Michael Zorns, Tony Vucetich, Aaron Rogers, Ruben Padilla, Travis Carpenter, Kurt Berry, Larry Burdett, Janine and Mike Jones, TJ Hostomsky, Drunk Phil, June, Ann and Sam, Lou and Gina Leach, Peter Steeler, Daniel Hudson, Clifton Barrett, Roll and Barbara Laborde, Mike Smith, Margie Burke and fam her family, Kyle Andrew Schofield, Laura and Lydia, Jason Hayes, Jack and Ramit and their family, Gino, Charles Ratcliffe, Chris Reinhardt, Dustin Keast, Norma Leakey, Charlie and Katie, Matthew, Matthew Russian, Tyler Davis, 
<coughs> I miss you, Tyler. I hope, man, I, I know you're not going to ever see this, but I'm thinking about you. Daniel Fonseca, Michael and Corey, Ryan, Dean Varchetto, Pat Ford, Tina, Keith, Alexander, Matthew Mustashkin, Kevin Johansson, the Republicano family, Tyler Jordan Lowe, Tyler Smith, Charles and Kim Plyler and their family, Anita, David, Michael and his mother, Ron Popeil, Al, Cheeseburger, Kenny, Kendrick Rojas, Dylan, and Charlene Myers. Lord, you know what we ask before we ask. You know what our needs are. Please remember the people I've named before you tonight in prayer. Remember their intentions. Remember what's good for them. I know that you already do. But it is still something that I make an effort to keep them in my thoughts and prayers that I do, and I do it with joy. Pour out your grace upon them by your Holy Spirit. Protect them and keep them safe. Thy will be done. Amen. Well, that's all for this evening. Thank you for joining me for uh, our little reading of 1 Samuel chapter 3. Prayers of the people in, sh in brief. <laughs> That's all, I guess. I'm going to wish you a good night, a safe night. And until next time, which will be tomorrow for Father's Day. Just heard a car pull in the parking lot out there. Huh. And a happy Father's Day early to everybody. I'll be saying it tomorrow. I will get ready to go to bed. <clears throat> God bless you all and Godspeed. <clears throat>